Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So the last five days has been the Taken Over Rocket event on Pokemon Go. So we're going to have a quick recap and see how we managed to get on during that event. So in terms of shinies, let's just do a quick search for shiny and age 0 to 5. So we all started off with a shiny NK in the wild on the very first day of the event, within a couple of hours actually, of the event, and that one was a two star. We then had a shiny Vullaby off a research task, so hopefully it was a bit better than this one, but it is only a two star for, uh, sorry, 11, 13, 10 for that one, 10, 10, 10 being the lowest you can get off a research task. And then we had a few more shiny Vullabies in the wild, a zero star followed by a one star, then it was Shadow Mewtwo Raid Weekend. So we've been raiding these over the weekend. We'll have a quick look into how many we managed to raid in a, just a second. But these are the shiny ones we managed to get. We managed to get two shiny ones during Shadow Raid Weekend. And it was two star for the first one, a little bit less on the attack. And then it's virtually rolls reversed for the second one we got. Attack being the highest of the stats there. But... We also had a shiny level 1 Bronzor 10 CP 0 star, quite a laugh that one was, hoping for a shiny Mewtwo and ended up clicking on a Bronzor. So not brilliant, but shiny nonetheless. We've also then had a shiny Shadow Machop, but unfortunately that was just after the event had finished. It was actually today, April 1st, that I managed to get that during a rocket balloon, so... We didn't manage to get rid of frustration on the shiny Shadow Machop that we got. So unfortunately that one will have to stay with frustration just for a little while longer until the next Rocket event. We also then got another shiny Bronzor this morning as well in the wild. So overall we managed to get seven shinies during the event followed by an extra two this morning. But seven shinies during the Rocket event. In terms of shiny, uh, in terms of Mewtwo raids, it was obviously Shadow Mewtwo raid weekend during Saturday and Sunday. So let's have a quick look at what we managed to do in terms of Mewtwo over the last two days. So in terms of Mewtwo raids, we managed to do well. We managed to catch fifty-five sha uh, Shadow Mewtwo's in total. We did manage to get one, which was the absolute rock bottom you could get a six-six-six. So just as Hard to get as a hundo, but unfortunately, no hundo to be seen. But we did manage to get the rock bottom one. So I did get rid of frustration on that one just for laughs, really, and just for keeping as a keepsake. But in terms of all the other Mewtwo's we managed to get, we managed to raid around about 45 Mewtwo's on the Sunday and around about 15 on the Saturday. But a few of them ran away, hence why we've only got 55 in our collection. So in terms of decent ones, let's have a look at the three star, four star count. So we have a few decent ones that are, we have eight in total. This one is a 13, 15, 13. So it would purify to a hundo, but I'd probably keep it as a shadow with it being a lot more powerful than the normal hundo. The second one was a 12, 13, 15. So 98, if I was to purify it, it would be 14, 15, 15. Then we had a 12, 12, 13, followed by a, another one that could be purified as a hundo. This is probably the best one that we had during the weekend, 29, 60, and it was a 14, 13, 15. We then had a 14, 11, 15, followed by a 10, 15, 13, and then followed by an 8, 8, 14, 15. So not a brilliant one on that one. And then we start getting slightly worse. We had a 13, 10, and 14 on that one, on the last one. So overall, we've got a few that we'd probably go ahead and power up, definitely using that one in future. So hopefully we've got a few that we can power up for our Shadow Mewtwo team. Let me know in the comments how you managed to get on during the Shadow Mewtwo raid weekend. How many shinies did you manage to get? Did you manage to beat the two that I got? And also, what was your best Shadow Mewtwo of the weekend? And also, what did you think of the Rocket event in total? Did Was you really happy about it? Did you Was you happy that Vullaby was appearing in the wild? Or was you hoping that there was more interesting things on the Rocket Stops? Doromoka probably being added as a Rocket on the Rocket Stops was probably the best thing for me. 
But in terms of that, there wasn't anything that was really grabbing me attention throughout the Rocket event, except for the Shadow Mewtwo Raid Weekend. So let me know your thoughts of the event in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as always, and I'll catch you very, very soon. Bye for now.